Well, we get to the border. I don't know what we expected, honestly. A thousand every day, every single day. It never, it never relents. And most of that, what I didn't realize was the, the it's almost a diversionary tactic. They, they shuttle the people across, it occupies our border agents and their, their capacity. And while they go somewhere else and cross over with, with the guns, with the drugs, with the illegals that don't want to get caught, that don't want to come in and do good things for, for the country in their mind, uh, the people that mean us evil, I mean, it's, it's like this whole border surge is a continual diversionary tactic for them to funnel illegal drugs and weapons and people into this nation. The fact that that's happening, not just here in Arizona, but all across our, our southern border. And uh, they're thankful to have a huge section of wall uh, completed by President Trump, but it comes to an abrupt stop right here at the Indian Reservation. And this next eight to 15 miles is, is just open territory. As soon as Biden came into office, he ordered that all the cameras be dismantled and not just turned off, but taken out. And so they don't have active video surveillance along much of this. And he, he took out stuff taxpayers paid for. And that doesn't even make any sense. Why would you do that? You can only imply that it's for very nefarious reasons and that they want the collapse of our border. We're not a sovereign nation anymore. I mean, it, what, what is a border if, if you can't control it? The whole thing is facilitated in so many different ways. I mean, the cartels, I mean, this is a business and then they come in and they dial 911. And then they go to the hospital and they overrun the hospital. A lot of the residents here have to seek medical care elsewhere because here locally, the facilities are overrun. Ibrahim from Ghana. You find these scraps of IDs everywhere scattered about. They just seem to drop them as they come into our country. And honestly, they probably assume new identities. Svetlana, Zakova. Yeah, I don't think they're from Thomaston. Oh, this looks, this is actual passport card from Senegal. This is what's coming across every day. Amazing. So this has been real helpful for me to come and see this in person, to, to look at, at the vulnerability of our nation, not just physically because the, the border wall just ends and then it's open, but the policy that's currently in place that, that's drawing this multitude of illegal immigrants across our border. And so do, would, it, would it make a difference for other folks to come see this? Well, I guess it really just depends on their worldview. If they have a globalist worldview, I don't think it would change their mind at all. But uh, for me, it, it's, it's eye-opening and it just impresses the incredible need that we have to shut the border now.